Hey guys, back again, and today guys, I've got to give my opinion and verdict on WWE 2K22. We'll say guys, bear with me, I am not very well today, I've uh, got an upset stomach, man have I, been throwing up and shit, so that's probably why I sound a bit weird today guys, and that's a fact for you, you didn't know guys. Anyway, moving on from that topic, we'll get into my overall opinion on this game. So, I've done a absolute shitload of gameplay on it, guys, but I haven't put anything up on the channel yet. I tried to make things, you know, more fair, guys, by, um, know what I'm pretty much talking about, guys, you know what I mean? So, as you guys can see from this, I have completed the entire showcase. And finished all of that, guys. I have even unlocked all the wrestlers. Now, I ain't going to lie, guys. I did buy the accelerator thingamajig to buy all these because it would have took forever if I hadn't have done because I did a few matches, guys, and I made like... 200 300 bucks a time on it so it was like okay that's gonna take a long ass time so that's why we did that however we did play through the entire um showcase right guys things that i love about the game and things i hate about the game so off the bat guys I love the graphics. The graphics are amazing. And I am going to show some gameplay, guys. God, just got to bear with me a minute. So I will be showing some graphics. GM mode, I think that's really, really good. I kind of like the GM mode. Um, you can, you know, make your own matches, play your own matches, and still go through a GM mode like you are the GM. And basically... How shit and good the matches are is down to you then, and I like that. That that makes it good. It's fun. The showcase mode was pretty damn good. I like the fact that they've based it around Rey Mysterio, but that was all we got it based around was Rey Mysterio. We didn't get like, see, some years we get a 2K showcase and then we get like two or three storylines, but this time we just got the one. And though it was very short, it was very good, but it was very short, guys. It took me about two hours maybe and i've done it but that ain't a bad thing that's still good so we'll get into some actual gameplay guys what i'll probably end up doing will be we'll probably do like a fatal four way and i won't be in it if you know what i mean guys i'll let the uh ai play and i'll just do some talking so as you can see, guys, got a good roster. I say good, it's not brilliant. I think 2K22 had a better roster, but the game was just so broken that you just couldn't enjoy it. Wait a minute, we got Billy K in the game, but yet we didn't get we didn't get Big Show. When I access Big Show, guys, but he's not the real character. He's one I had to download. So. They gave us wrestlers that... This, this roster, guys, was absolutely fucking weird. Because we got some wrestlers that's been released, but then we didn't get other wrestlers that's been released. Like, there's no Bray Wyatt, there's no Big Show, there's no... You know, even wrestlers that were still in WWE, like, just as part-timers, like, uh, the Bella Twins and that lot. Like, we didn't get them in the game. Um, there's so many wrestlers, see Viscera, we hadn't even made. But... The Undertaker part right here is the best part for me. He's my favorite wrestler, so, you know. And this is my favorite version of him. The the actual Ministry version was great. So, that was really cool. But as you see, guys, large, large roster. So, anyway, we're going to start off by putting him actually in. We did make a second attire for his different attire, but we'll go for <clears throat> this. Um, again. Oh, I've got to pick him out here. I think we're going to do Triple H because I haven't seen him yet. So where is he? Uh, 
there's Kane away, Kane, yeah, right, hang on guys, I've got to go all the way around to get the Triple H. So we have Triple H. I'll try to pick some wrestlers I haven't already seen yet, guys. The Fiend is why I downloaded it again. Uh, I suppose we could have John Cena in it. What about AJ Styles? I haven't seen him yet. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's <clears throat> see how this plays out. Obviously, there's no um, music or nothing, guys, because I had to turn all that off for the create, for the, to be able to make it, guys. But as you guys can see, we can still see the um, entrances, so that'll be pretty cool. Actually looks really good, guys. Oh, that's really cool. So yeah, like I said, guys, I had to turn off the... Um, Entrance music and that lot. I just pretty much went to safe content, turned it on, and that's why we got that. But we'll skip through these bits. So, seeing him. Obviously, we've got the Undertaker coming out when he comes out. No, it's not. It's Chelsea the first. Okay, fair enough. But. On another note, guys, get some of the bits that, like I said, that I don't like about the game is getting used to them controls, guys. The new button layout is okay. It's okay, but i just so used to the old one. So we'll get into this. But I'll talk more, guys, when I ain't got loud crowds going off in my ears at the minute, so... Yeah, that is cool. Can't beat Undertaker, guys. Especially like that, that was really awesome. So we'll get him in. And who we got next? AJ Styles. Again, looks awesome. But. Okay, guys, so while they are wrestling it out and playing out and fighting out, I will tell you what I mean by the button layout, guys. So, obviously, Square was always... Uh, either Square or X they used to use all the time to use for the uh, striking, and then they would use either X or Circle, again, for grapple, but that's fine. But why it's confusing, guys, is they've done it so circle is for grapple, but X and square still do grapple once you press circle. And I found while in showcase mode, I kept pressing circle again, and all that did was make him Irish whip. And then, like, if I tried to run and press circle to make him run an Irish whip, that didn't work. He would run and do a grapple attack. So, it does take some getting used to. It really, really does. I found a lot of the manoeuvres I was trying to do was just fucking frustrating me. But, you know, once you get used to it, I think you'll have a blast with the game. I haven't found any glitches yet, guys. Um, other people found glitches. I didn't. I will say, guys, I've, I've dubbed this game as an online-only game. 
and I don't know if, I, if it is or it isn't yet but the reason I was saying that guys is it would not let me play the game until I downloaded this patch it wouldn't let me you normally you get the idea it says Yo, do you want to play and come back and install the data but it didn't it made me do it now the only way to confirm or deny if you need to have the internet for that or not is going to have to be me uninstalling the game turning off the internet and then reinstalling it and seeing if it'll let me play because if it don't guys then you will need an internet connection to do that day one patch which i think is shit but like I said, guys, overall, the graphics are really, really, really good. I think they've done a really good job in the graphics. The roster is lackluster, very lackluster. I mean, I think this has happened to be one of the weirdest rosters ever. Um, obviously, it's not just down to who's released and who's not released, guys. I am not stupid. I do realise, obviously, some wrestlers left on bad terms some wrestlers just contracts probably came to an end whatnot but basically you know the wrestlers with bad terms like bray Wyatt, people like that you know they probably said i don't want to be nothing to do with you anymore in wwe anything games merch toys a lot and that's probably how he didn't make the game i don't know but wrestlers that are in the wwe at this moment of time like do drop in that lot they're coming to us of a way of dlc and i'm like that's fucking stupid. It's like Ronda Rousey. She's going to be DLC again. Can't they, like, make better DLC? They could have put them in a free update thinking that why would we want to pay yet again for wrestlers that we've already had or already should be in the game. They could have done a free update for them once and then made us pay for new wrestlers. No, they could have done a ministry pack where you get Midian and all of them in it. Um, the Brood and Gangrel and all of them. And nope. Once again, we get this stupid fucking DLC. And people are excited about DLC. A lot of people are excited about it. Don't get me wrong, the first pack seems great. Yokozuna, Rikishi, Umaga, all of that. Awesome. And then we've got a little crap. I just don't get it, guys. I really don't get it. It's like, what in the fuck are they doing now? Okay. Different, guys, different. It's like they don't know what they're, like they're all just running out of the ring in a minute. But yeah, I thought I'd just come on and give my verdict, guys. It's not the best video I could put out today, guys. I'm quite under the weather at the moment. Um, so, this isn't the best video. But I wanted to come on and give my own opinion anyway, guys. I will put out better stuff when I'm more with it, guys. But, like I said... Hopefully this will help people who haven't played the game yet or thinking of getting the game yet. I think you'll have a good time with it. I think you will have a good time with it. It's just getting used to them new button layout. Some people are saying, you know, I mean, they said it was easy to pick up and play. It's not easy to pick up and play if you play the retro games. Because obviously they've all changed the button layout. But we'll see. Ooh, I don't think he's gonna make that. We've got some old school. Also, guys, another thing that I, I don't know if I like yet or not is the new blood system they brought in. Um don't get me wrong, right? It's great how it works, but I wish that there would be a little bit more, you know, way of making them bleed more. Because at the moment, it's like, it's a little bit of blood, and then it's still, like, you keep working on that same part, and it still just doesn't seem to get, like, you could get a real good blood pour on or something. But don't get me wrong, the blood system do look pretty good. You know, it's a lot better. But there's stuff, just, you know... 
they took out of the game, guys. I mean, like, when you win the match now, guys, there's no, like, replay parts. It just goes straight to the wrestler, and then it ends. That's it. There is no, like, highlights and all that. Lot. Like, you would get in a real WWE match and stuff. It's just now you win this match, and it's the end of it. So, I don't know. I know they had to build the game from the ground up, so maybe that was what it was. I don't know. I kind of wish they would have... Uh... That tombstone looked better than the one the Undertaker does himself. My God, man. Again, though, you guys, there's something, again, I, uh, a part I don't like is they haven't added enough new moves into the game. Considering they built the game from the ground up, I would have expected them to bring us some more different animations and more moves. They said there was 5,000 or something new animations and maneuvers. I don't know about that. There was a lot more details in certain things like that, but in the maneuver department, that what the fuck is that? I said there's no glitches, and that was a glitch. But as I was saying, guys, it's, it's done again. Man, that is not good. Not good there at all, but, you know. Right now, they're just, they're just smacking this shit out of anything. But back to what I was saying, guys. Yeah, there's not enough maneuvers new in the game. Like, I would like to send some more versions of the Tombstone, more versions of the F5, because the F5 they've got in it right now doesn't give that ragdoll effect. You know, well, I mean, I would like to have seen it be... Have they not watched how he actually does the F5? Depending who he's doing the F5 on. This is the worst pedigree I've ever seen. Look at that. And the only reason I knew that was going to be shit was because I already been to the move. Um, I'd seen him do it. By the way, that's not the default tombstone either, guys. I had to change it to that one. That was the best one that made it look more realistic. So, for that era, anyway. See, they didn't give all the Undertakers their own version of the tombstone, and that's the problem. He, he did evolve it over time, and it was different. I mean, what gets me, guys, is they didn't add a big man tombstone. And what people don't realize that was when he tombstone people like Diesel and stuff like that, the legs would be on his shoulder to the side and his head would be to the, the side of the legs. And when he come down, it gave a different effect, a different look to the tombstone for the bigger man. And they didn't put that version in. I would have liked the version, that version in the game when he did it on Diesel from WrestleMania. Now, if people don't know what I'm on about, go back, watch that match, and you'll see what I'm talking about. That version of the Tombstone would have been cool. Would have looked awesome doing that style on bigger wrestlers such as Kane and so on and so forth. And you could have had a default as two versions of Tombstone. And depending on who you were wrestling at the time, you'd know which version to use and make it look more legit. But I'm just saying... I'm not disappointed in any way by the game, though, guys, you know. I mean, I'm just a little bit took by what they did. I mean, that's the tombstone I gave him because the other one just didn't look right. But each to their own, each to their own. But, you know, the moves I wanted to see changed, they didn't really change. They have changed some moves, though, guys. I've seen they've changed, like, Kofi Kingston's move. Um... They've added Brock Lesnar to have an F10, which does not look right at all. I haven't given that move either. That was crap. I took his Kimura, Kimura lock off and gave him two versions of an F5 because he never either uses the Kimura lock anymore, so I didn't see the point of having that, and I don't like that move anyway. But uh, if you've played the game, guys, let me know down below what you generally think. Oh, well, that was fucking odd, wasn't it? <laughs> it won. Well, so if you have played it, let me know what you think. I think graphically, it does, it does look pretty good. It does. I ain't got no problems with the graphics. 
You can even see like the, the colour on his head and people don't know what I'm talking about. I mean like you can see where his hairline is still starting to come back through. And uh, he's got grey to his beard and that like he's got the wrinkles on his forehead. He's got his actual eyes and everything. It looks just like Triple H, so that is awesome. But in the graphics I've got the problem with it guys, it's the overall gameplay engine and the but the button change. They said they completely rechanged it. And they kind of did, guys. They kind of did. But it kind of feels like I'm playing a boxing game. They've made it more like UFC if you get the point of, like, combos and shit. Like, they want you to push, like, square, 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 then circle to do, like, a grapple combo. And it's like, yeah, okay, it works. It does work. But it just seems like it's not a wrestling game. You know what I mean? But, you know, maybe... I mean, I've heard people are saying this game is awesome. They're loving it. And I like it. I do like it. But coming from 2K19 and 2K18 and stuff like that to this one is a massive change in the button layout. It's a massive change in, in a lot of things, guys. But it's that roster for me. They kind of... I don't know. I mean, we'll quickly go look at the roster one more time, guys. So... As you can see, if you go to the women alone, there's really lack for that. We've got Alexa Bliss. And um, that's pretty much it. Like for A, look at this, two. Like, why is Billy Kay in here? She got released ages ago. And yet we can't get no decent women. Like, where's Lita? Where's people like that? You know what I mean? And Lita's actually still in WWE. She was in it, like, at the Royal Rumble and shit. China. She actually looks pretty good in the game, so that's pretty decent. They actually added her about time they gave her some recognition. So, you know, we got we got a few women wrestlers, but, like, how the fuck can you take out Lita? And how can you, like, take out and not have a... There's not even, like, nobody from retro days... Like, there's no Jacqueline, Ivory, nothing like that. They didn't put no, you know, Mae Young from back in the day, you know what I mean? Nothing like that, but, you know, stupid. That's it, guys. That's your entire women wrestlers. There's no do drop to you by the DLC, which I think is stupid. Here's the custom superstars that, oh god, yeah, that I've managed to get. I don't know who the hell Tommy End is. Oh yeah, that's a dude, that's, um, what's his name? Alistair Black. And then we have all the Rey Mysterios from downloaded superstars. And that's just a junior version, right, yeah. And then there's the Undertaker, Undertaker again, another Undertaker. Then you got the cruiserweights, but we might just go through the men, wherever they're going to be. Here we are. So as you guys can see, there's so many wrestlers that did and did not make the cut, and it's just a random roster. It really is. It's almost like they made a Legends of Wrestling roster. You know what I mean? It's like random as shit. They should have brought a lot more attitude error. I mean, like, we got Farouk, which is great. He's the APA version, and as well as, like, the Ministry of Darkness version. But we didn't get Bradshaw. We got JBL. So it's like, you can't have the APA. Not really. So it's like, oh, I don't fucking know. As you see, guys, we got JBL. That's it. We didn't get Bradshaw. We got Road Dog at X Park. We did get Mr. Ass. But obviously, Mr. Ass is in um, AEW. Oh, no. This roster's. But then he's in AEW now, isn't he? I swear he is. I said, guys, yeah, this, this is fucking weird. This whole roster's just weird.
they've mixed like renders there. Like, let's go back over there, guys. Look, it's like real photo. That isn't. That's a game render. That's a game render. Game render again. Real photo. Real photo. Game render. And game render. They couldn't get photos of that version of him? <laughs> oh my god. This, this, like, I don't know. I really don't know. But we got that rock. We didn't get the old retro rock again. We didn't even get the retro Triple H or nothing. It's like, what the fuck, man? You can see what I mean, guys. This is the most random roster I've ever seen. And that's it. It's a good job we did get a community creation, you know, because if we didn't have that, I think we'd be screwed, guys. Overall, we'd be screwed because, you know, without that, we'd have no wrestlers. So, that's all I can say, guys. We didn't get much different in matches either. They said that we're going to get lots more stuff. And I can't see much different. There's no Inferno match, no Ambulance match, no Buried Alive match. Nothing here, really, that says anything different. It's the same again. They took two years just to improve, from what I can gather, just the graphics. And that's pretty much it. Is it smoother in running? Yeah, I suppose so, but that would have been different anyway because they had a whole game to still... Did, did, you know, we look at any game, guys, when they improve the year after football or anything, it's always got something different. I don't know, guys, what to say about this one. This one's hitting that bar for me. It's a middle, middle. I was so hyped for this game. I, I'm a massive fan of wrestling, so I was really hyped out about it. And uh, I don't know if this one delivers. I still give it a solid 9. I did. I still give it a solid 9 out of 10, guys, because it is a lot of fun. The graphics are great. But out of all the wrestling games I've played, it is a middle bar one for me. It's like 5 out of 10 out of all the wrestling games you could play. Uh, I mean, if you want to go play the best wrestling game, it doesn't exist, guys, to be honest with you. Because to get the best wrestling game ever, you've got to take the whole roster. The whole roster. So you've got to take features from WWE Here Comes the Pain with the, the graphic, with the, the engine of No Mercy. And then you need to have all the wrestlers from 2K22, 2K21, 2K... Well, they were 21. You know, every single wrestling game ever made with the engine of, like... No mercy for like the dial of the gameplay, this the wrestling maneuvers and stuff like that, with the game play of today. So to do that is impossible, guys. But that's our perfect wrestling game. It would be awesome to see. But you know, people today they still say 2K19 is the best one out there for the new new gen platforms. Um, I don't know whether I agree or disagree with that, guys. To be honest with you. I mean, I loved WWE 2K14 for the Undertaker's Beat the Streak mode. I liked 2K15 for the improvement of graphics when it went to new gen. Um, I didn't like the roster too much in that one either, though. But I think the best roster probably is 2K19 for the newer gen stuff. You know, we're still missing the best wrestlers out of it. I mean, we didn't get The Fiend properly in 2K20. He was downloadable. And then somehow... You think two years later, Vincent Mann has got rid of every single fucking superstar left. So we end up with a lackluster roster. But then I weren't too fussed, to be honest with you, because I thought he would pull a, a rabbit out of the hat or something and we'd get a lot of Attitude Era and 80s wrestlers. But we didn't. We didn't. We got, we got nothing, guys. We got nothing. Um, I don't know. I really don't know what to say about this game. But like I said, it's a middle bar for the wrestling game. But f but overall, I give it a 9 out of 10 for graphics and gameplay in general. I mean, we waited two years for it. But I don't think it was what I was expecting it to be. Overall, they were saying it was going to be 
we didn't know what we was going to get, apparently. It was going to be the best game ever. It was going to be awesome. And don't get me wrong, performance-wise, it's great. But roster-wise roster is very lackluster. And then when you look at the DLC we're getting, it's like, what in the fuck did you think? And someone was smoking some fucking fun, a crack pot when they fucking had that one. But there we go, guys. But anyway, guys, I know this video weren't perfect, guys. I wanted to just come on and give my opinion to it. I probably will do matches at some point. It won't be today, guys. I feel rather really, really ill and drained from being ill. So, uh, yeah, just give me a day off, guys, and then I'll start making some matches and some, some different things, guys, some random stuff. And uh, have a laugh with the game, guys. But in the meantime, guys, thanks very, very, very much for watching, guys. Hopefully you get the points I've put across. And I'll see you all in the next one.